Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today, I'm doing an unboxing, three big boxes of car detailing products, equipment, tools, supplies, however you wanna say it, uh, were spring. Yes, finally, it has arrived. I know you guys love these unboxing videos. Uh, over time, a lot of companies send me uh, car detailing products, but I also have to make my own orders every now and then so I can test products uh, that you guys highly recommend that I test and show in videos. And by the way, I'll leave links to all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, so I'll be talking about the products. Uh, and also, I need to involve you guys because, you know, I like to do videos that my viewers want. So if you see something in there and you want to see it demoed in a full individual video, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video. And also, if you tried any of these products that you'll be seeing today and you want to share your thoughts and your opinions about them, if you want to give tips and tricks, also also, from the rest of my viewers who'll be reading the comments, drop a comment. So let's dig right into it right away. Uh, we're going to start with the first box. So again, I am very, very happy that we are now in springtime. We all love detailing our cars. We had a pretty rough winter here in Montreal, Canada. Uh, a bunch of snow and uh, temperatures that reached... Uh, in the minus 40s uh, degrees Celsius or almost minus uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, if I'm doing the conversion right. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. So I'm always excited to open products when I order car detailing products, guys, because I, well, it's been over 25 years now that I detail cars and I still enjoy it. It's my still my life's biggest passion, of course, as you guys know. And I'm like a kid in a candy store every time I order some new stuff. So what do we have here? All right. PNS uh, Iron Buster. So this is a wheel and paint iron remover. So if you have iron particles, mainly from brake dust and industrial fallout, uh, you all see those rust spots, right? Especially on lighter colored vehicles, uh, where they're on all colored cars though, but they're more visible, those orange specks. Uh, that's typically iron contamination. So you wanna remove it with a spray. Uh, this changes colors when it's used. So it sprays on uh, clear and when it reacts with the iron particles, uh, change to a purple or a reddish tint, uh, indicating that the uh, chemical reaction is happening and that the uh, iron particles are ready to be rinsed off the panel. So great for chemical decontamination. You can use it, of course, for maintenance uh, cleanings as well, especially in the springtime. If you have uh, a vehicle that has a wax, a paint sealant, a ceramic coating, a graphene coating, regardless, there's a lot of maintenance that you can do. And by the way, you can check out my uh, total uh, full tutorial on the spring cleaning maintenance that I do on my vehicle. So you can check that out on my uh, YouTube channel. Yes, a product I haven't tested yet, but this is the Adams Graphene Boost. So this is a product meant to maintain uh, the uh, existing coatings, whether it's a graphene coating or a ceramic coating, or you can also use this as a standalone paint protectant if there's no protection on your paint. Uh, this is a water-based product. Uh, and my understanding is they claim a durability of up to six to nine months, uh, and it's safe on all exterior surfaces. So glass, wheels, paint, uh, plastics, lights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you guys have tested this, uh, what is the durability like for you? Uh, I'd like to know again, always drop a comment in the comment section, let me know, but I'll be testing this uh, for sure. Uh, they say it has a prickly pearl scent. Uh, I don't know what that means, but anyhow, uh, great packaging, by the way, from my friends over at Carzilla. They always take care uh, to put some tape on top of the uh, things right there. Same goes with uh, Obsessed Garage in the US that I like to order from, and also Car, Su Car Supplies Warehouse in the US uh, into detailing in the UK. Big shout out to them as well. Uh, and Auto Addict or Addict Auto in France. Uh, those companies that I usually uh, order from, they really take care of customer service and they enjoy proper packaging right? So what else do we have? All right. Ceramic Ultra Slick Detailer. Yes. This I saw the unveiling at uh, SEMA in uh, early November 2022 while I was at the uh, SEMA show. And this one here, basically, it revitalizes existing ceramic coatings or graphene coatings, gives you up to two months of hydrophobic protection. Uh, it can also be used on wrapped vehicles, by the way. So this here uh, is basically, they call it slick detailer because it's a, a quick detail spray. So more for maintenance, right? And they also have their uh, heavier or longer lasting counterpart. This is the full blown ceramic spray coating from Sonax. So the difference with this one, it lays down a heavier 
a layer of protection, but it has SI carbon technology, so some silica and also carbon tech. So it's going to lay down first a layer of uh, carbon protection, according to Sonax. And on top of that, a thin layer of silicone on, tap that, on top of that. So that gives it that just wax look and feel and appearance for that nice gloss. Uh, they say you can get up to six months of hydrophobic protection with this. So uh, of course, I'll be testing that and reporting back to you guys. But some interesting things, 750 mils and Sonax, you guys know, uh, they're made in Germany. So high quality products. Uh, another, so there's a lot of products that I like to reorder because I use them very often. Uh, one of them, you guys know, one of my fav favorite interior cleaners. This is PNS Express Interior Cleaner. Uh, I use it neat, so undiluted, but you can dilute this up to one to one, so half water, uh, half product uh, to clean your interiors. This is also good for cleaning leather. It cleans vinyl and plastic safe on all surfaces. It has a very nice fragrance, uh, by the way, uh, and also it leaves no residue. It gives kind of a, it doesn't have any greasy or oily appearance, which I really like, but it leaves a kind of a satin feel, something very nice to the texture. I don't know how they do that. Uh, you guys who use this probably know what I'm talking about, but it leaves the uh, interior just feeling nice. And uh, yeah, another great product from uh, PNS in the uh, Rennie Doyle uh, collection, so the double black from PNS. And this, by the way, for those who are asking, this is just a cleaner. It has no protection. So this is just to clean your interior surfaces. Oh yes, the McKees 37 Hydro Graphene Ceramic Coating. I've been using this a lot. Uh, so what this does, this is their spray-on rinse-off protection, uh, kind of like Gion Wet Coat, uh, CarPro Hydro 2, uh, so on and so forth. So basically, you wash your vehicle, you're done rinsing it. While it's still wet, you can boost the existing protection or even use it as a standalone if your vehicle has no protection. You spray on a panel, immediately rinse off using your pressure washer or garden hose, and that's it. You move on to the next panel. So in just a few minutes, you're going to boost your existing protection or add some uh, protection if there's no protection on your vehicle. Uh, they say up to six months plus of protection. Uh, so far, so good. I see five to six months in the harsh conditions uh, that we have here in Montreal, Canada. So I'm sure some of you with that uh, have even better the slickness that comes out of this. This was one thing that stood out to me. Uh, it leaves a very slick finish. Of course, it's going to boost that gloss and uh, give you the hydrophobic boost that your uh, current protection might need. So uh, yeah, check that out. McKees 37. They always produce some awesome products. Oh yes. Aha. So I spoke about all the new 2020 23 CarPro products that were uh, unveiled. They weren't at SEMA, but they unveiled them uh, on their website and social media during SEMA. So Reload 2.0 is an updated formulation of their SiO2 spray sealant. So the previous Reload, uh, they did quite a bit in this. So this is a silica or SiO2 and siloxane spray sealant. They say, or they claim, a durability of up to three months with this one. Uh, they promise improved gloss, slickness, water spot and chemical resistance protection. So those are the claims. Uh, I haven't tested this yet. I'm very excited. Uh, for those of you, well, you know, CarPro is one of my favorite brands. It's one of the brands uh, that pretty much wins uh, some of the most awards in my annual car detailing products awards video. Uh, so I'm looking uh, forward to testing this new formula. Those who have tested this, is it really a bump or an increase compared to the previous one? Let me know, drop a comment. Always interested in hearing your comments. Built Hamber Touchless. I don't know what more to say. I absolutely love uh, Built Hamber Snow Foams. And by the way, I also have their other one. Let me go and grab that here. There's two of them in the line. So there's this one here. Uh, this is the auto foam. This is a pH 13. And of course, it depends on what kind of grime uh, you want to remove or what conditions you're in. But uh, Built Hamber, my understanding, they recommend this uh, more for uh, fall, spring and summer months. And during the winter, like we have here in Canada, because it's different, right, with the road salts, uh, the calcium, the calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, all the stuff they put on the roads, uh, they recommend this one here. This is touchless, a sugar based. So very safe on the environment. Snow foam pH 12 for this one. But regardless which one you use, what I like about the built hammer snow foams is that they're actually very good for pre-cleaning. So I like the pre-wash stage using the foam cannon to help lift uh, and uh, emulsify, lose dirt and debris. But these ones here, more than pH neutral snow foams, they actually do quite a bit of cleaning. I have a video on that. Do snow foams really work? Go check that out. Uh, super interesting. So yeah, built hamper from the UK. Uh, the uh, touchless 
Snow foam works super well. Uh, again, from the McKees 37, their graphene line. This is their graphene rinseless wash. So what's good about this one? Well, it's a graphene oxide uh, ceramic resin inside there. They promise to increase depth, gloss, and richness of paint, uh, all while adding a bit of protection. So regardless if your car does not have any protection, you just wanna wash and protect, you can use this kind of like a wash and wax. Or if you wanna boost a bit of your existing protection on a ceramic coated car, a graphene coated car, or a wax, or a sealant, doesn't matter, it's universal, uh, you can use this. Basically, they recommend using half an ounce for every three gallons of water, if I remember correctly. So yeah, fill a bucket with three gallons of water uh, and dispense one ounce, sorry, one ounce of this product for every three gallons of water. Uh, and in your bucket and that's it. You're gonna use it with uh, whichever uh, wash media you want for your rinseless wash. But know that you can also use this as a quick detail spray. So they say to add uh, half an ounce of that in a spray bottle containing 22 ounces of water and you got yourself a quick detailer. So there's the dispenser and there's half an ounce, one ounce and two ounces. So you just squeeze and then you pour and that's it. So very, very cool. And uh, yeah, I know you guys, those who love rinseless washes, you told me, Pan, you gotta try this one because I did a video recently uh, about 20 different uses for rinseless washes and I had the uh, top four rinseless washes currently in, according to my opinion, uh, the Optimum No Rinse, the McKees 37 and 914 rinseless wash, the DIY Detail rinseless wash and PNS Absolute uh, rinseless wash and you guys said you gotta try this graphene one. Uh, so yeah, let me know for those who use it, why do you prefer this one? I think it, there's a lot to do about slickness inside there. So one of my favorite detail sprays, for those who are looking for some of the glossiest products, I featured this uh, in a video, I think it was last year, about my uh, favorite glossiest products that increase gloss the most visually. Uh, and their regular detailer from Gion, and this uh, Gion Ceramic Detailer made that list. Uh, this is a very, very good product. You can use this on a wet surface or a dry surface, meaning when the car is still wet, you can spray it on, use it, use it as a drying aid, or once the vehicle is dry, use it as a normal quick detail spray. But uh, yeah, the slickness and gloss that it gives, it's gonna boost the hydrophobic properties, of course, uh, of your existing uh, protection as well. You can use it on uh, pretty much all the surfaces as well. So wheels, glass, plastics, lights, paint, all that good stuff. Up to six weeks of durability is uh, what they claim. I typically see anywhere for about a month, three to four weeks. Of course, it always depends on your conditions, right? Where you live, the mileage, so on and so forth. I finally got this. This is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, but version 2. Point oh. So what's new with this uh, latest generation? A lot. So much so that they had to make a list. So let me try and focus. Oh, what's going on today? It's focusing on the road. There we go. So 360 degree spray pattern, better foam, thicker foam, richer foam, less noise generated. Uh, it's going to work as low as 1300 PSI. It has new connections and fittings. You don't need any... Um, uh, plumbing tape for the uh, the connection and fitting, new tank and cup, uh, bigger, slightly bigger capacity, uh, up to over a liter in there and so on and so forth. So it's made out of brass for the body. There's some nylon in there and HDPE for the uh, container itself. So super high quality stuff. And this is going to be a good upgrade for my previous gen. So I had the first generation of the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro uh, that I featured in my Foam Cannon Battle, which you guys absolutely loved. So this I already liked. So this is the uh, first gen, if I can show you this. So now we got the updated second gen, which I'm looking forward to testing. This is something uh, that you guys know I like to do with uh, usually some uh, silicone spray for the rubber seals, but 303 have this product that I had tested about a year ago and I went through the entire bottle and I liked it a lot, so I ordered more. This is the 303 Rubber Seal and Protectant. This is good for your rubber door seals, right? The door shuts uh, and your window seals as well. So this is going to help uh, protect and condition the rubber seals on your doors and windows, hoods, trunks, all that good stuff. Uh, and just make it more pliable over time, less prone to cracking and uh, less, of course, of that ice that's also gonna form uh, on top preventing your or making your uh, doors to freeze shut during the winter months. This is going to help prevent that. Also, if you have, it's going to resist the extreme temperatures. That's one of the points that I like a lot. Uh, and it rejuvenates the color, of course, on older seals and restores that elasticity. So uh, anywhere you have uh, rubber seals on your vehicle, just use this. It's in uh, this beautiful dispenser. And of course, like anything 303 makes, it is a fantastic product. Uh, so do we have anything else? We have just a bunch of sprayers in there. So I'll get through that later. 
for the rest of the products. Let's move on to box number two. I just like opening boxes. Hopefully you're enjoying this content. I know you guys absolutely love the unboxing videos. Go check out the previous ones on my channel, of course, if you want to see what else uh, I had in the previous unboxings. So what do we have here? Let's just throw that around, right? There we go. All right. Ah, uh, yes. That's cool. All right. The uh, SK Pro Micro Polisher 2.0 from Adams. So this is another very small polisher, uh, 2.3 amp, 12 volt battery, variable speeds. So uh, it, it, it's a patented uh, polisher according to Adams. So it has a one and a half inch backing plate. It's one hour of continuous runtime is what they promise. Uh, it has a rotary mode. It has a three millimeter and 12 millimeter throw attachments for the polishing side. Uh, and again, that one and a half inch backing plate. I'm really looking forward to uh, testing this. Also for the polisher, I got this micro polishing uh, extension. So it's a rod basically that will attach to the uh, polish head and allow me to get into even more intricate areas. So of course you guys know if you have a uh, typical uh, five millimeter or six millimeter backing plate polisher, well, it doesn't go everywhere, right? Sometimes you need to go to intricate areas uh, like A pillars, B pillars, um, any gloss plastics, grills, headlights, taillights. So you need smaller polishers for the task. Uh, so I have my uh, Rupes uh, HLR75 uh, mini cordless polisher. I have the uh, Rupes Nano Hybrid mini polisher with a one inch backing plate. Uh, so I just like testing new polishers and of course giving you guys my feedback. Uh, what else? Yes, this they also unveiled at SEMA when I was there, the uh, Ultra Clay Scrubber from the Rag Company. So it's dual sided. It's It has this here. So this is their Ultra Clay material. So one of the best clay towels that you can buy on the market or clay mitts. And in the back, there's this Jersey style scrubber to remove the bug guts and bugs, all that kind of stuff. So basically it does two things. It can decontaminate, it can remove bug guts. If you have light paint overspray, of course, you can do that. If you want to clay, remove any contamination from your clear coat, uh, it's good to decontaminate or do a deep cleaning of your glass as well. So uh, fantastic for that. Uh, this is a two pack, so check that out. Uh, this is really one of my favorite uh, clay materials that they're using in the front of this. Uh, next. In their new uh, updated packaging that they also have as well, the Rag Company, this is their FTW towels, 16 by 16 inch. So uh, this one here I got in um, blue color. This is a twist loop weave, super soft micro suede edge or microfiber suede edge. Uh, great for cleaning windows, glass, mirrors, polishing chrome and all shiny metals. This is 550 GSM. It's a 70-30 blend uh, South Korean microfiber. So uh, this is a three pack, yep, three pack. I absolutely love those. By the way, always wash your microfiber towels before their first use. That is very, very important. Uh, polishing pads. These are some two and a half inch, so perfect for the atoms. Uh, these one here are the medium cut or orange from Lake Country. I have some heavy polishing pads or for compound if you want. These are the blue pads from Lake Country. And we have the soft finishing or final polishing pads. These are the black pads from Lake Country. So I already was one of the first ones to order the um, OG Spec Mosmatic Gun and Wand Solution for my Krenzla 1122 pressure washer. Uh, so I was part of the pre-order. I had ordered it myself and I absolutely loved it. And I just wanted another one because there's wear and tear over time. Uh, you put these on the floor, they get scratched and stuff. So this is the latest one uh, once again. So Mosmatic, they're from Switzerland. They do some amazing high quality things. Uh, and I know Matt loved the original Mosmatic gun, so he worked with them uh, to do some modifications in the fittings to have this one here even shorter than before. They have, of course, the Mosmatic fittings, super high quality, and this is the bent wand that you have for the pressure washer. And of course, thanks to the Quick Connects, so satisfying. What a nice sound! And so you connect that, and then you have your gun and wand solution, and you can disconnect that and just use this as a stubby or a short gun if you're cleaning your wheels and tires, for example. Absolutely love that. These are the, I'm not gonna remove them. Should I? Yeah. So these are the uh, the canisters for my CR Spotless 
uh, DI or water deionizer system. You need to change the resin, uh, especially in my case, because I have a whole house water softening system, uh, I go through resin a lot quicker. Typically every month or two, I have to change the resin. Um, I reached out to see our spotless. They said there's something about the way the chemistry works about softened water and how it reacts uh, with the, um, the, uh, the chemistry inside their resin. Uh, but anyhow, I like to have zero particles per million of um, minerals, so zero minerals in my water when I wash cars. So I use it both for washing and rinsing. So I have two of these uh, big capacity canisters for my CR spotless system. I needed another MTM foam cannon. So I had uh, the first gen, I was using that for my uh, breakbuster solution that's already ready to go. And I have another MTM PF22.2, that's their latest version uh, for uh, just foaming the vehicle. But the one, the uh, gen one, because I uh, have PNS Breakbuster, it's super highly alkaline, and I leave it on there for months and months and months on end when I do the solution. I never change it up, so I never have time to rinse the foam cannon. Uh, it eventually, well, uh, destroyed the foam cannon. So uh, yeah, just note, ideally, like all my other foam cannons, when I'm done foaming, I rinse the, um, the head itself. So I put some warm water, just that, in the container, and I run it for 30 seconds, so all my other foam cannons are good. Uh, but I usually leave the uh, Breakbuster solution in there, so I just have another PF22.2 foam cannon, one of my favorite foam cannons. Build quality is top notch. I absolutely love the uh, MTM. So, last box. I always love opening goodies. Oh man, I could do this all day. If my girlfriend was in the garage and she'd see me unpack, seems like pretty much a few times a week, either UPS, FedEx, uh, DHL, they all show up here with, with boxes of goodies for Pan the Organizer. But hey, I love this. It's my passion. A pack of, yes, pearl edgeless towels from The Rag Company. If you watch my videos on ceramic coating uh, cars, you know I love this. Why, first of all, closed loop pearl weave. Perfect for the first towel when you're doing coating removal. Uh, you can do sealant and wax removal with this if you want. Interior and exterior cleaning and dusting. Uh, if you want to clean your kitchen countertops, by the way, uh, whether it's granite, marble, um, quartz, all that kind of stuff, perfect for stone countertops. This is 320 GSM, a 70-30 blend, again, from South Korea. So top quality uh, microfibers. And well, like you see here on a close-up, it has a pearl weave. So when you're um, when it's time to level my, um, ceramic coatings or graphene coatings, so you apply the coating, you wait for it to flash, and then when it's time to remove, the first towel is the leveling towel, so you're breaking through that surface tension and you're removing the excess so you don't get any high spots. So this is the towel I prefer to use for that initial wipe, and then you come in with a second clean and dry towel for the final buff. Uh, I like the Rag Company Edgeless 350 for the final buff, or uh, their Edgeless 300, whatever towels you guys prefer. But for that initial wipe, I really like the uh, pearl towels from the Rag Company. Uh, what else do we have here? So yes, for applying tire dressings. Uh, I like many applicators, but my favorite ones usually, or my go-tos are these. These are the Adams Hex Grip Pro Tire Dressing Applicator. It has this perfect ergonomic, so it's shaped like a puck, and you can grab it easily, and it has these dimples on there. You apply your dressing, and you apply it on your tire, and it works well, so I always have a few spare ones. And, oh yes, two more of these uh, DI resin refill cartridges for my uh, deionizer setup because you can never get enough uh, instead of ordering every month or two. Sometimes it's better to have some in stock ready to go so you're never left unprepared. And uh, yeah, there you go. That pretty much does it. Uh, all the links, by the way, to the tools, products, and equipment, I'll drop those in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, thoughts, and opinions on these products or which ones you want me to test in a dedicated video, again, drop a comment. And guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.